There are four important tasks in PTE where you need to take notes while listening to a lecture or an interview before answering a question or questions. Note taking is critical to a high score. If you don't take notes, you'll struggle to answer the questions accurately. In this short video, we're going to learn how to take good notes. Just before we learn how to take notes to boost your scores, make sure you click that subscribe button for high quality, trustworthy PTE videos. Okay, so there are four tasks that require good note taking skills. In PT speaking, there's a task called retail lecture where you need to listen to a lecture, take notes, and then use your notes and your memory to retell the lecture. Without notes, getting a high score on this task is pretty much impossible. And in PT listening, there are three tasks where note taking is critical. Summarize spoken text, multiple choice choose multiple answers, and highlight correct summary. Why take notes? Why not just listen to the lecture while reading the answer options and then select the right answer or answers? You can't. Reading and listening at the same time is impossible. Your brain cannot read and listen at the same time. You can only concentrate on one or the other skill, not both. Your primary aim is to listen. Your secondary aim should be to take notes while you listen. Remember that in PTE, you can't listen to the audio again. You can't replay it. Once it's finished, it disappears. Your third aim is to then read and answer the questions. Now, if you want to access high quality, trustworthy practice materials with expert video lessons, then you should check out e2testprep.com. We've helped over one and a half million students pass their tests. If you need to pass your PT as soon as possible, sign up for our free trial. So how do you take notes? Well, when you listen, you are listening for two things, the main idea of the lecture and any important details. So on the notebook that they give you on test day, write down the main idea of the lecture at the top of the page and the details below that, or put the main idea on the left side and the details on the right, whatever works for you. Let's do a little bit of practice now. You'll listen to a lecture and write down the main idea, what the lecture is about, and try to note down as many important details as you can. Remember that your main focus is on listening. Your notes should just mirror what was said. And of course, you'll need to write in shorthand, single words, maybe a phrase, symbols, whatever it takes for you to document what is being said. Okay, try to write down the main idea and details. Keep in mind that you might not know the main idea of the lecture until after you've written down all the details. It's a messy process. Let's start now. In our solar system, we have a ring of asteroids orbiting the Sun. It lies between the four inner small rocky planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, and the four outer giant gas planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Most people have heard mention of this asteroid belt. It took a while for our telescope technology to get good enough, but on January 1, 1801, an asteroid was discovered in this belt. It was also the largest ever discovered, about 930 kilometres across. Of course, the smaller asteroids took longer to discover because they were harder to see. As the astronomers discovered tens, then hundreds, and finally thousands of asteroids, the name Asteroid Belt gradually evolved. The asteroid belt has about 1 million rocks bigger than a kilometre across, and about 250 of these are larger than 100 kilometres. If you go really small, there are many millions more rocks just a few metres across. Even so, the total mass of all the asteroids is about a thousand times smaller than the mass of the Earth. How did you go? Let's take a look at the transcript. See if you understood what was said and whether you were able to note down the key words and phrases to help your memory. Here's the transcript. So the main idea here is asteroid belt. Why? Because it's mentioned seven times during the lecture. This is what this audio was about. And what are the important details? 
Well, perhaps you note it down between inner outer planets, discovered 1801, small hard to see, name evolved, asteroid belt, many asteroids, small large, mass smaller than Earth. These are the key details. And notice how my notes are not full sentences. I don't care about spelling, I shorten words, I paraphrase. I do whatever I can to note down what was said. The key here is that I listened carefully. And so now I have two artifacts from the lecture. I have my memory, which is good because I was listening, and I have my notes, which will help to structure and prompt my memory if I have to answer a multiple choice question or summarize a text or whatever question it is. Because of note taking, I'm gonna perform a lot better. My name is Jay and I hope you found that helpful.